What's going on, people? Welcome to Every Man's a Millionaire, where we discuss money, how to make it, how to keep it, how to protect it through entrepreneurship and hustling. Today, we're going to talk about the new credit FICO score credit game. This is something that uh, quite a few people have emailed me about or sent me messages about the new ultra FICO score that they're going to factor in your banking and some other form of how you handle your money. Let me tell you right now, nothing good is coming from this new adjustment for most Americans. Nothing good at all. And I'm going to tell you why. Uh, if this is your first time here, this is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. What I do is instruct you how to make money. I've had 14, 15 businesses. I've lost count. I have made money from cleaning stuff to selling furniture. And now for the last nine years, I've been teaching people how to make money and start businesses the real rugged and hard way. If you like this content, I want you to do me a solid. I want you to go below and get your free books. I'm going to talk about that in a minute and get on the text notification list. Now, what are these free books? These free books are going to teach you how to hustle. These free books are not going to make you, quote, a millionaire, but they will help you get to the first mandate, which is four figures per month, extra income in addition to your job. I know a lot of people want to quit their job. A lot of people are tired of their boss. Keep your job until your job becomes a problem with your business. Don't quit your job to start a business you know nothing about. That's going to end up badly. All right, so these free books, well, you should, honestly, if you apply yourself, you should easily, within the first six weeks to two months, be at that four-figure mark. My gift to you, I'm not even sending you a bell, uh, a bill. So be sure to get on that text notification list and also to get your free books. So let's get into this. I've noticed some stuff going on with my credit profile. Now, I have a monitoring service, right? And I haven't been in there like I used to because I really don't use my credit. I'm a cash and carry. Now, once again, you should have good credit and you should have cash. You should have good credit and you should have cash. Not, I'm cash and carry so my credit can be broke and tore from the floor. No, no, no. That's not the way that we're going here. You need to have very good credit and you need to have cash in the high income. You need both. I'm going to tell you why. Especially with this new system. So they're going to factor in uh, your checking account into your credit FICO mix. Sounds good, right? Well, actually, it's not going to be good for most Americans because most Americans, they use their checking account as a lunch pad. Money in, money out. That doesn't look financially solvent. Now, for those of you who have money in the bank, who have enough money in the bank that you don't have to pay a fee because you're past that $1,500 limit, it's like you keep $1,500 in the bank, you can use this checking account as much as you want to, however you want to, and we're not going to charge you any money. Those people will get a benefit. Those people will get a boost. But guess what? Those folks already have good credit. Those folks, see, it's just going to help the rich get richer. You know, someone who's like maybe 740, 750, they, they got the five checking accounts. So I'll discuss that in a minute. And then, boom, it's like, wow, you know, I'm like 780. I'm 800. It's going to help those folks. Now, once again, and I'm going to keep mentioning this because a lot of you just are not paying attention. You need these five checking accounts. There's a video, how to set up your checking accounts. But I'm going to tell you here because so many people will send me a message versus using the Google machine or the search bar. You need number one, an operating account. This is personal. Operating account, savings account, expense account, a merchant account, an investment account, and allocate most of your money in your operating account and slowly ladder up those four other accounts. So you have that 1500 so you don't have to pay any fees. Or if you are a veteran, Chase Bank, and they're not paying me to say this, I just think this is 
awesome because a lot of people say they support veterans, but they really don't. That if you're a veteran, take your DD-214 in there and they'll open up personal and business checking accounts for you for free. That That's awesome because, you know, if you've got five personal checking accounts and you got five business checking accounts, that's 10 counts. At 15, that's $150, $150 per month. That's like two G's a year. But once again, using the five checking accounts and lathering money and getting past those 1500 because see, this is what you're going to need to do. You're going to have to have money in the bank that accumulates. Or you're going to have to have a large sum of money in the bank that sits there. That's the only way that these new credit rules are going to help you significantly. So if you're already doing that, guess what? You've, you've got good money, money management habits. Guess what? Your credit's probably good to great already. See, the rich get richer. Now, let's talk about this credit thing. Uh, there's a lot of people out there who are talking about secure credit cards are an absolutely the worst thing you can do for your credit. Now, what they're not telling you, and they're not going deep into the context, and I'm going to explain to you why, depending upon what type of secured credit cards you get, how they can be beneficial even to this day, but it's getting harder and harder and harder. Long time ago, there was a multitude of banks, 10, 15, 20 years ago, that offered secured credit cards that if you treated the card correctly, it graduated. And graduation is it went from secure to unsecured. So they would send you your money back. Navy Federal still does this. And then they would take that card and convert it to an unsecured card. So you had the time on your in history. You had the good credit. It was a wonderful thing. But fast forward to 2018. It is very hard to find a bank well, 2018, fast forward to 2018, it's very hard to find a bank that offers that type of secure credit card. And I've heard of it, you know, if you've heard of it and you're one of these credit um, groups that a lot of banks that offer secure credit cards that you can no longer increase your limit. That is a problem. So what I believe, and I'm going to get to an overarching view of this, is that this new thing is coming, that what they're gonna do is take people who normally would have a 740, a 760, maybe even a 780, and they will manipulate the reporting to drop your score 40, 50, 60, 100 points, but know that you are still a good customer and you will pay your bills on time, but because you have this lower credit score, they can charge you more interest. So they're changing the chessboard. I have been impacted by this, and once again, I really don't use my credit. Uh, I'll give you an example. I have an American Express uh, Delta uh, Platinum card. I only use my Chase. Uh, Chase is a signature card, which means you're not theoretically supposed to have a limit, but it has a limit. So I use that pretty much exclusively and I pay that off every week. And I've noticed because it's a signature card that it consistently reports to the credit bureau. If I spend 2000 bucks, and this is one of the reasons that I just pay it off so frequently. So then never gets to report that I have a balance because let's say I spend two thousand dollars on Monday and I don't pay it off until the following Monday. That two thousand dollars is going to go in my credit report. Uh, I looked into my FICO. That's what I used to monitor my credit, and <clears throat> my score has been going up and down, up and down, up and down for years. I just once again, I don't use the credit. Don't really pay attention to it. So. Now, uh, this is where the Delta credit card comes in, which I have, I just really don't use. I bought a computer, it was like 1800 bucks, uh, the computer that I can, that has the software I can write on it. And I was like, you know what, since this new credit thing, I'm gonna leave this on there just before the statement cuts, right? The statement cuts November 8th. That's already reported on my credit report. It's already on my credit report and my score dropped six points. I want you to really think about this. It's already on my credit report. 
I am not a bad credit risk. I have perfect sterling credit. But even me, because what it's teaching you is if you use certain cards frequently, that they've got a way where they can impact your credit. Now, once again, once I pay everything off, the credit goes to a certain level and it stops because you have to be in a little bit of debt, you know, like maybe a hundred bucks or something like that per card. So that was my plan. And once again, if you're someone who is marginally on the cusp of good to bad credit, this is going to kill you. This is going to just like if you're like a 705, 710, 715, 720, 730, you're now going to be moved to the 600s because of these new scoring models. Now, how does one get out of this? Uh, once again, they've changed everything. Uh, you used to be able to get to an 850 credit score with maybe two credit cards, a car loan, and a mortgage. I think some people who've been grandfathered into the system are still like that, but it's going to be very challenging for someone who is younger to get to those levels unless you have a high income. So this is what you got to do. First of all, you got to have more credit cards. This is something that, once again, at one point, I think I had like 10, 12 credit cards and I had store cards and stuff. And once again, do not get store cards. I know there are people who are going to tell you, get a store card, leave a little money. That's going to factor. Don't get store credit cards. For your four to six credit cards, get Visa, American Express, or MasterCard. That's all you need. And you need to set this checking account system up ASAP. Because since they're going to pull that in to the credit scoring mix, if you're checking the account, if you're suffering overdrafts, if you're having a situation where your checking account never looks pretty, for lack of a better word, if your checking account is raggedy all the time, that's going to pull your score down even lower. So right now, everybody that's in this, listening to the sound of my voice, you need to get a hustle. You need to get your five checking accounts. You need to have some money that you are not spending. Um, typically, the most I would recommend, unless you got bigger plans, is just to leave the 1500 in there or go to Chase Bank, but still get to the 1500 still get to $2,000 per account that's just sitting there. This is not for Bitcoin. This ain't for no investment. You need to learn how to hold money you need to because all this credit and all this stuff is just money management that's all it is and if you manage your money correctly you can have a high credit score and you can get anything you want on credit but as someone who's sitting in a paid off car as someone who has a paid off car in the garage as someone who doesn't have any credit card debt someone who doesn't have any loans it is better to have good credit just in case you need it but to be cash and carry on your daily life. Part of this big change, I think, is just a social thing just to imprison people with debt, uh, to keep people at a certain level, because it's very easy to avoid if you have the right information, but many people don't have the right information. There's a whole bunch of folks out here because I, I was watching the video and he was saying secure cars were bad. Secure cars, once again, 2018, if you could find a bank and you will have to call them up and you have to be very specific and say, look, if I manage this car correctly, does it graduate? And if the people at the branch don't know, call up the bank, call up to the underwriter and they will tell you, because if it doesn't graduate, don't get it. I've talked about this in other videos. I've talked about the toy trash credit cards. Now, the people who were talking about that those secure credit cards are bad, they are. I agree with them. A $300 limit ain't going to do anything for you. A $500 limit ain't going to do anything for you unless it's through a credit union. Many credit unions still have starter accounts. They're not even really secure credit cards. You, you have no credit history. You just go to your credit union and say, look, I don't have this. Open up the account, get direct deposit, and get you a starter credit card and start building your credit that way. Be advised, this is not going to help more people than it's going to harm because most people are poor most people don't have any money most people are living paycheck to paycheck so i just see this 
as a way to raise the credit card portfolio. There's a bunch of people who were like 720, 730. All of a sudden, they're going to be in the 600s. More interest, more money. Uh, that's how I see it. So you can either play this game or you can create your own chessboard by creating your own hustle, making those four figures per month. Once again, the books are below. Now let's talk about this. Um, a lot of people don't want to do those kind of hustles. I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to speak to you like this. If you are broke, how can you be picky? If you have unpaid bills, how can you be picky? If you have arrears and child support, how can you be picky? I am 52 years old and I come from the school of if there's someone that's saying, if you do X, Y, and Z, I'm going to give you some money. I'm over there. Many of you are in this la la land that's about to come to Jesus. You about to have a come to Jesus moment because right now, let's talk about unemployment because this factors into it. We have low unemployment, right? You have one person that has two and three jobs. Why? Because they've gotten rid of all the better paying jobs. Most of the jobs in the manufacturing section have been raised. Uh, the better paying jobs have disappeared and we've become a very much a service economy. So we have low unemployment because we've got one person with two, three, four, five jobs. They count part-time jobs. Unemployment, if it was truly counted as people who wanted to make money, who were able to work, would literally be 20 something percent. Think about it. Because you'll have people over here who are doing really well. And it's like, look, I got a degree. I got this. I got that. If you had did what I did, you'll be in my position. Not necessarily so. Not necessarily so. So I hope this is a wake up call because I, I've, like I said, I had four or five people hit me up. say this would be good information. This is not good information. If you're managing your check account very well, yes, it is good information. If you're managing your check account very bad, if you have overdrafts, I guarantee you that's going to count against you. If you don't have a large balances, that's going to count against you. I guarantee it. So what are we going to do? We're, we're going to hustle. We're going to put together some stuff. We're going to get a hustle. We're going to keep our job and we're going to get ourselves 10, 20 G's in the bank. You got 10, 20 G's in the bank. That Yeah, that's going to help. But if you have absolutely no money in the bank, mm -mm. nope, 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 nope. All right. So doing some new. Once again, go below, get on the text notification list because YouTube does not send notifications to everyone. And number two, get your free books. And number three, I'm putting the phone number right here. Here's the phone number. Now, I am not going to call you back. Let's just be real clear. I'm not going to call you back. This is for people to call in ideals. If you like a baller and you want to work on some personal level, maybe. Just maybe. It just depends upon how much fat is on that bone. But this is the number for you to call and suggest video topics. If your topic is lit, we may do it. I'm making no promises. You can call. You can text anytime because it ain't hooked up to my phone. It's Google Voice. I've been using Google Voice for 15 years. I love Google Voice. So just a way that people can send significant information, send tips, send highlights, do all this other stuff. And uh, once again, be very, very careful. I'm going to do for the people in Art of Holding, I'm going to do a more in-depth uh, overview of what I just talked about with specifics. Also, I have said that the people who, because I'm getting ready to discontinue the um, the enhanced art of holding. Because see, I want people who are going to take action and people who are for real. People who are going to take action and people who are for real. You're in that immediate gratification thing. I've said it before. I said it several times. To get into this, you're going to spend two or three months learning stuff before you start making money. So with that, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Get the free books. Give me your phone number on the text notification list. And if you have something interesting to say, make a phone call.